Now today, today brought back some very good memories. I can cast my mind back to times where we announced surprise signings like your Salahs, your De Bruyne's, your Andre Schurlers and that was during the time and the club we used to keep these deals on the low, keep these things under wraps and as fans really got excited by these surprise signings and today, well today brought back those very good memories because it's looking like Hakim Ziyech from Ajax is going to be signing for us in the summer and becoming a Chelsea player. Absolutely crazy news and this story came out from Holland from The Telegraph. They were the first publication to fully break down the story and in today's video you guys i'm going to break down the latest news that came out today so you guys it's going to be a very jam-packed video today and of course if you like today's video if you like me and most importantly if you like hakim ziek then remember to smash that like button help me get over 2500 likes i'm going to be very ambitious today because it looks like today the club are starting to act on that ambition themselves so anyway we get straight into things and we start with the news now as i said this news was broken in holland where the telegraph announced that the club agreed times with ajax to sign ziek for 45 million and this deal actually breaks down into two parts there's a flat fee as well as bonuses inserted on top of the deal so altogether it brings the price up to 45 million euros which is about 38 million pounds but let's remember one important thing we've agreed a verbal agreement this verbal agreement agrees on the price in which we can sign Ziyech in the first place we haven't agreed personal terms yet with the player could that potentially change well who knows but going by reports coming out publications feel very confident that it's going to be a formality Ziyech is going to agree on personal terms and then sign for us in the summer now for Ziyech this is amazing news he turned our moves to clubs like Sevilla and AS Roma last summer because he is thinking you know I can't be boarding for Ajax with these years to have Sevilla and Roma after me he was smart he was patient. He knew that if he continued to keep playing his ball, the big teams will come in for him. He took his opportunity against us. Frank Lampard seeing him up close and personal, putting in a very good performance against us at home in that 4-4 draw, with reports suggesting that Lampard is going to feel more confident signing players that he already knows or players that he's seen up close and personal. Well, it seems like when Lampard first saw Ziyech, he knew then and there that he had to get that player. I do think though, would the club be happy knowing that this deal has been leaked and reported? Now remember, personal terms haven't been met just yet. And if you're Ajax, do you really care what clubs the ex signs for? No, you only care about the money that is brought in from the transfer. And who knows, are Ajax potentially trying to get more clubs interested to make any last bid efforts to sign the player? Potentially, you know, but as I said, it's looking like the player will be agreeing personal terms with us and he is going to be signing for us in the summer. Now that the news is out of the way, I'm going to give my thoughts and opinions on this potential signing of Ziyech. Now I'm going to let you guys know very quickly, I expect there to be an even jam-packed video tomorrow. I'm going to go in a lot of depth, really discussing what ZX is going to bring to us from a tactical perspective and what to expect from the player's skill set. But for today's video, of course, it's purely going to be reactionary. And my first reaction is, is Ziek the guy we actually need? Now, first of all, I have to look at how we play as a team currently and look at some of the deficiencies that we have in this team because I think we can all agree upon that we are not looking at the final Chelsea team this season. Now, of course, as I have mentioned quite a lot, the creativity that we want isn't really supposed to come from Mason Mount because we aren't playing Mason Mount as a 10. If he was playing as a 10, then he wouldn't be joining up front alongside Tammy Abraham. You know, we are using him more as a support striker, shadow striker in that sense. And Lampard wants the creativity to come from out wide. That's why we stretch the play when we play. That's why we attempt so many crosses. And that's why we focus our build up down the flanks. Lampard must be thinking, Mason is only 21 years old. He's been playing maybe too many games more than he actually has to. And is that affecting his development? Because he's getting more fatigued, more tired, and I don't really have any quality backup rotation to give to the player. So this is where Hakim Ziyech can come into place because it could still mean that Mount can play his same support role, but we get that creativity down the right hand side. And maybe that's what we need. With Ziyech having a left foot, left footer players being a very rare commodity with this team right now well i can just imagine the scenes down the right hand side reese james and hakim ziek 
Like, I'm going to just describe to you something that I expect to see happen quite a lot next season. It starts with Reese James and Ziek down the right hand side. Reese James moving down the right hand side, going 1v1 against his man, freeing up space in the half space for Hakim Ziek. Now, with Ziek being in that half space, you can imagine him playing an in swinging cross to the far post where Tammy Abraham will get his head on it. These are the areas I feel that we're missing that type of dynamic creativity. And in that sense, this is why I just see so many similarities between Ziek and Kevin De Bruyne. The two players that can play in multiple positions, they have excellent technical ability on the ball, they're excellent dead ball specialists as well, and they have the ability to produce unbelievable magical moments. Now, this doesn't mean that they're players that they consistently hit the target every single time. Of course not. They're high risk, high reward players. I mean, we saw how Ziyech played against us at home. How many times did he give the ball away? But how many times did he produce unbelievable moments of quality? He produced moments that got Ajax leading in the game. And if it wasn't for luck and other factors that happened in that game, who knows what the final scoreline could have been like. Would our play improve even more if we could produce those dead balls from between the lines and in the half space instead of out wide? Maybe if crosses are coming from out wide, it's a bit easier to defend against, but with Ziyech being in a position that are very hard to really pick him up consistently, could he bring that X factor we need? I also think, is Ziyech a guaranteed first team player? I can't say that with my hands or my chest because I feel like we are going to be signing more players in the summer. You know, let's not forget Jaden Sancho. And for anyone that thinks this Ziyech signing could potentially affect any move for Sancho, my friend, do not relax at all. Sancho is his own commodity. Sancho knows that we're interested. He knows that we've spoken to him. Let's keep things positive, yeah. And come on, there's no way the club are going to speak to Sancho and Ziyech if the club thinks that they can't use both players. So let's not forget that. Ziyech isn't a niche player like a Jorginho. Ziyech can play in multiple positions. And this is actually something I really love about his game. It's his flexibility, it's his versatility. I mean, the way this guy can play on the left, on the right, further up, further down, as a 10, as a midfield player, and to still produce consistent attacking output, I think it's really impressive. And it's another reason why I just can't help myself but compare him to Kevin De Bruyne in that sense, because it was the same for De Bruyne as he was growing up in his career. Now, I can see why Lampard would want him, we have to be realistic, it's looking very likely that Pedro is guaranteed to go and William as well because he hasn't signed a new contract and if you're asking me, I feel like he wants something new. With Ziyech, he brings that experience that Lampard would want from a player in the final third because come on, you know, if we're signing four young players, we've got an attacking lineup of like under 22s, then I feel like we're not going to be winning anything just yet. So some experience is needed and that's one area in which Ziyech brings that. Another thing that I think Lampard really likes about the player is that fundamentally he suits what Lampard wants. You know, Ziyech has a very impressive engine. He works very hard. He presses from the front foot as well. And he constantly looks to find space every single time. We're a team that wants to be more efficient on the transition. When we create goals, we're not really trying to create like tiki taka, possession, possession, possession. The faster we can create these opportunities, the better and most times you create them on the transition and, and that basically means on the counter-attack, you know, have you dispossessed your opponent in his half or in your half, you know, that type of stuff. In that sense, ZX suits that to a T. If you saw how Ajax played last season where they played some incredible, unbelievable football, you could see just how fluid their players were in the final third. With guys like Tadic playing as a false nine, with guys like Neres and Ziyech moving in field playing off each other as well, they were a very dynamic 4-2-2-2 team. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't trying to swear at you guys, only for the haters, nah, no, I'm messing around. But in that respect, I can see how Ziyech suits us tactically. And of course, that is very important. I think with Ziyech, he is someone that can provide that X factor, that moment of brilliance out from nothing, either from set pieces like his crossing, his free kicks, because they're giving his shots outside the box as well. He's definitely a quality player that's going to boost the quality of the team and hopefully boost the quality of other players competing. Signing Ziyech gives Lampard more rotational options and responsibility in the final third because, you know, at times, you guys, I feel like too often, most of the goals we score are just too systematic. You know, if it's not the system 
producing the efforts on goal, then I don't see too many players providing that moment of brilliance by themselves. The guy like a Ziyech, that's not the case at all because his game is based on making the impossible possible. As I said, expect me to really break this story down into even greater detail in tomorrow's game. I'm going to be going through formations, tactics, lineups, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, it takes too long to edit. I was attempting it today. I quickly realized that I wouldn't come out until 11 if I continued. So you guys will have to see me tomorrow for more news on Ziek and more tactical analysis on the player. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to wrap things up and keep things moving. Unbelievable big news. I think that Ziek is a signing that complements what Lampard is trying to introduce and bring to the team. It's going to allow Mason Mount to not have to be used so often every single time. And most importantly, we're finally introducing a player that has a left foot to the guys playing in attack. On that note, you guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm the EFC, the Sisbury Lions TV. Welcome to Chelsea Hack and Ziyech.